Hello friends, welcome back to CAD Cam Station and today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that how you can create the cycle light profile using AutoCAD. So the first thing comes into your mind is what is a cycle light profile and why it is so important to know that how to create the cycle light profile. So the first question is what is cycle light profile? So as you can see on your screen, these two circles are called the rolling circle. This central line or the straight line is called the pitch line. And this profile is called the cycloid profile. Okay, the one is epicycloid and one is hypocycloid. Why we are calling the downward one is hypocycloid and the upward one is the epicycloid. I will tell you in a few minutes. So the first thing is what is cycloid profile? So in order to define the cycloid profile is when a rolling circle rotates on a fixed uh, straight line when a rolling circle rotates on a fixed straight line without slipping then the curve traced by the point on the rolling circle in one full rotation is called cycloid profile okay so uh, the position of the cycloid profile decides it is going to be epicycloid or hypocycloid. That means um, the cycloid profile is further uh, classified into two groups, which is the epicycloid and hypocycloid. So, what is epicycloid profile? So, the epicycloid profile one is one in which a rolling circle rotates outside of the straight fixed line, in this case, the pitch line. So, outside of the pitch line. The rolling circle rotates outside of the pitch line without slipping then the curve traced by the point on the rolling circle in one full rotation is called epicycloid profile on the other hand when the rolling circle rotates without slipping inside of the straight uh, fixed line or the pitch line then the curve traced by the point on the rolling circle will generate the hypocycloid profile so the thing is why it is important or why we should understand the concept of cycloid profile it is important because of this so this is the cycloidal profile let me just uh, highlight the area of the cycloid profile so this is the gear or you can say that the cycloidal gear so this is the base circle uh, the one which I am just showing you over here. Let me just quickly close this one uh, This one this is the uh, base circle you can see the straight pitch line or uh, Here is the this circle which I am talking about is a base circle. I will tell you what it is exactly so first of all, this is the example uh, of uh, of a rack gear or this is the profile of the tooth of a cycloidal rag gear so in the image as you can see over here this profile above the fixed line is called the epicycloid and below of this fixed line is called hypocycloid profile which in turns um, or you can say that is the uh, the cycloidal gear is the combination of two cycloids which is uh, one is the epicycloid and uh, another is the hypocycloid so let me just jump back to the example over here so this is what exactly it is so this is the epicycloid and this is the hypocycloid uh, one side of the single tooth so in order to generate the complete tooth you have to generate the opposite profile to get the required size of the tooth okay so let's jump on to the another example over here so this is the cycloidal gear profile as you can see over here this is the gear one and this is the base circle or the fixed circle from where the actual profile starts so as you can see this is the rolling circle this green circle is the rolling circle one and the same circle is used to generate the profile uh, on the secondary gear or the second gear similarly the red gear is used to generate the outer profile and uh, the same circle is used to generate the inner profile of the second gear okay so i will explain this concept um, in some another video uh, but for now i will just show you 
that how to create the tooth profile of a rag gear or for a rag gear so the psycholytal profile of a, a rag gear so if before starting this video tutorial i would like to request you that if you like this video or found this video tutorial informative then let me know into the comment section hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this in the future so so how to create the cycloid profile for a rack gear so as you can see here the pro uh, procedure is a little bit different for a circular path and the straight path so for this video tutorial i am just going to show you for the straight path and uh, the circular path for the circular path the video uh, will be uploaded shortly or very soon you just make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you just don't miss that video as well so without wasting any time just let's just jump into the tutorial so for this we just need to start with the fresh sketch so we are using our cap so the circle is very important to create the cycloid profile so by using this method or what I am going to teach you in this video you can generate the cycloidal profile or the cycloid profile for any circle of any diameter so for this video tutorial I am going to use a command C enter place it wherever you want and uh, hit D for the diameter or enter whatever the diameter you want i'm going to use 60 millimeter of diameter so let me just zoom in a little bit just like that so for with the example so this circle is of 60 millimeter of diameter now the second step is i'm going to divide this circle into equal number of part for uh, example I'm going to divide this circle into 12 equal number of parts but before dividing this circle I'm gonna just change its color just to make sure that they are uh, fully visible that what I'm trying to do over here so this first line is equal to the radius of this uh, circle now I'm gonna use polar array command from over here to divide the circle in 12 equal number of parts so from center over here you just need to enter the value 12 so the circle is now divided into 12 equal number of parts so the next step is to draw the straight line from its base position on which this circle is about to rotate so i'm gonna draw it a random length this is uh, the length of this line is just a random one but i have to make sure that what this length should be this length should be equal to the circumference of this circle so in order to calculate the circumference of the circle you need to use the formula 2 by r or by d so 2 times 30 times pi equals so the resulting value will give you the circumference of the circle with the diameter of 60 or whatever the diameter you are using you should um, use that value in order to uh, maintain this length so i'm gonna make this length with the command line lengthen and i'm gonna use this lengthen command to select total and enter the value which i've just copied from the calculator so hit the line and now the line is equal to the required length we need so I'm gonna just quickly change this uh, uh, color just for the visuals now I'm gonna copy this circle on two different positions first is on the center and another one at the top now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first I'm gonna uh, change this line into center line because uh, this line is going to be fixed so uh, this circle should not move up and down it should move perfectly straight and follow this fixed center line so I'm gonna go by layer other I'm gonna load the center line so center line 2 okay okay 
I'm gonna change its line type to center two. You can change its property and scale type to 0 0.4 or something just like that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just divide this length into 12 equal number of parts which is equals to the division of this circle so i'm going to use the divide command and select the line and enter the value 12 so as you can see the points are on the uh, on this circumference of circumferential length uh, but it is not clearly visible to make it visible you should use the command line p type so hit enter and now from the point style menu you can select the point whatever the point style you want i'm gonna use the cross one and i'm gonna drop down the scale of the point size to two or but, uh, whatever you are liking is I'm gonna use two now you can clearly see the points on this line so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to extend the line up to here from these points so again hit the line command and extend just like that again I'm going to match the property with the baseline just like that now again what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this line on every point so hit copy select the line and start copying the line on every point on the circumferential length just like that now we don't need this extra line so i'm gonna trim this one just like this now again i have just divided this circle into 12 equal number parts and uh, from the end point of this line i'm going to extend horizontal lines which in results going to intersect with the vertical lines over here so just extend these lines just like this a little bit more so now again i'm going to copy to all these four points so copy copy select the line and select the point of origin and place it on the point of origin just like this so again what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim this line extra line which we don't need so this circle is about to rotate on this straight line without slipping so it is not possible to rotate this circle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this circle and i'm going to place it on the intersection uh, of the at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical line on every horizontal and vertical lines intersection so i'm going to use the copy command copy the circle start from its center position and placing it on every intersection of vertical and horizontal center line so this is the method to find that the circle is rotating and touching or crossing every horizontal line what i have told you in the definition that the when the rolling circle rotates on a fixed straight line without slipping then the curve traced by the point on the rolling circle which generate the epicycloidal profile so this is the point which is we have to consider or uh, we have to focus on this point so whenever this circle moves forward or goes to second intersection the circle intersects this line and the third circle intersects the third line and the fourth crossing the horizontal line or intersecting this so i'm going to convert this circle into an arc by using the break command and I'm gonna create arc on every intersection with the horizontal just like this one this is the first arc this is the second one this is the third fourth and do it until all the circles are in converted into arc and intersects every horizontal line
so now the circle uh, all the circles are converging into arcs and intersecting every line uh, horizontal lines uh, while it is moving in a straight uh, fixed line so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recreate the circle from its origin so that you can see what is happening so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete the vertical lines these lines are no more needed and this one also let me just again delete this division also okay select the spline command and uh, connect every intersection point so let me just quickly uh, disable some nodes from over here like uh, we need intersection we don't need nearest point uh, let's see if we only can select the intersection point just like this okay let me just intersection and intersection intersection just like that now you can delete the lines and the points just to make it more easier for you to see that what we have over here so this is the uh, required um, cycloidal profile of a given circle in this case the diameter of 60 and uh, this is the profile generated by that circle in one full rotation and this profile is called the cycloidal profile which I have showed you over here in this example so the same method which I have used in this um, section the same method is going to be used to create this if this is the epicycloid profile the same method will be used to create the hypocycloid profile just like this so this is the one side or the face of the single tooth so you can create the um, another half of the uh, single tooth to create the full uh, tooth profile so in this way you can generate the rack gear tooth with the cycloid profile so in if you really wanted to see that how to create the cycloid profile for a circular profile then uh, for the circular gear then let me know into the comment section so i will definitely going to uh, provide you that video very soon so make sure you don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon and leave a like and share it with your friends so that they can get that information as well so this is it guys for this video tutorial see you in the next video keep watching cat cam station signing out for now